So I want to give you a definition of this symbol. <laughs> so think about this guy as given, right? So that means you, for some reason, know this to be the case. Okay. So in this example, I have a family with three kids, and I'm interested in calculating the probability that there are kids of both gender, given that the first kid is a boy. Right? So I'm going to tree this just for the first one, and then we'll probably not tree these later. But first things first, I have two options, right? They're girl and boy for the first case. What's the branch weight? One of the, yeah. oh, okay. the probability of a girl and the probability of a boy are each a half, right? Okay. From the girl is first born branch, what are my options? You, you, you fail. You can't do that because the first half to be a boy. Oh, okay. So hang on. Let me branch the whole thing. So there's the girl-girl branch, and then the girl-boy node, right? Okay. And then from here, there's going to be girl-girl-girl, girl-girl-boy, oh god, girl-boy-girl, girl-boy-boy, oh no. Then there's boy-girl, boy-boy, and these branch into boy-girl-girl, Boy, girl, boy. This one branches into boy, boy, girl, and boy, 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 right? Okay, so for this problem, right, I know that the only branch choice I had at first was that the first is a boy. So all of this stuff vanishes, and really what that amounts to is changing the weights on this first branch from the usual to 0 and 1. Right? I am certain that this happened. You guys see that? Really, that amounts to just knowing the first kid is a boy, right? And it's important here that they said the first kid is a boy, right? Because mm -hmm. if they said one of the kids is a boy, then I'd have to do something else. You guys see that? But because they said the first kid is a boy, I know all this stuff is disallowed. Everything that starts with girl didn't happen. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So what's the probability of both genders given the first is a boy? Well, I have these four outcomes, right? And three of which, right? Three of which include a girl. So my successes on that first one are these guys. And really, that's three and four options. You guys with me on that? So what was the question? Is that so a family has three kids. What's the probability that there are kids of both genders given that the first one was a boy? So given that the first is a boy means that None of this stuff matters, and you're only in that universe. You put the answer as three fourths. The book has the answer as three eighths. I don't think they changed the first one to be. Yeah, I think one. they forgot their. I've got minus three fourths here. Okay, I'll let you guys figure out which one you're looking at. It should be three quarters. Mine says three fourths. Yeah, they just start the tree from the second decision yeah, instead really, of the first. This amounts to starting the tree from the just the first position, right? Like I could skip that first kid altogether, mm -hmm. right? Because I already know it's a boy, and then I'm just interested in what's the probability that I end up with at least one girl in the mix after that. Or you only look at you can do all the outcomes and only look at the ones that have boy in the first. Yeah, sure. So, so you, you added those three up, right? What's that? Yeah, I added this, this, and that. They're each a quarter of the probability because these are all zero. Okay. So, you good, Megan? Yeah, I was looking at the wrong answer. 
How about this one? So what's the probability that they're all girls given that they're kids of both genders? Zero. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense, right? If you know the kids are of both genders, then they're not all girls. You guys see that? What would you put as an answer? Not possible? Trick question? No. <laughs> zero. The probability is zero. Keep in mind, this thing that I've said is an impossible event, right? Yeah. Impossible events have probability zero, okay. but not all probability zero of events are impossible. Things can have probability zero, but still be possible. Okay. Like the fact that you have a height, right? Okay. Your specific exact height uh -huh. is a probability zero event. Wow. <laughs> but it happens. Right? So it's not impossible, it's just extremely unlikely, right? Like, if we had other people in the room, in fact, we have other people in the room, none of them are exactly the same height as you. They might be close, but nobody's exactly the same height as you. Does that make sense? Or that if you're like getting down to like the nanometer. Yeah, exactly. So this is you can always go infinitesimal, right? And we're disbarring the existence of Planck's constant because this isn't physics class. 